Hello Aries and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So Aries, I am here doing your December reading, my darlings. Yes, I am. This reading is for the collective, so it may not resonate with all of you, okay? Um, just take what resonates, leave the rest, you know, don't try to force it. And thank you so much, everyone, for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything. All the love you guys send me, the positive vibes. Thank you so much for all of your support. I truly do mean that. All right, one more shuffle, and we'll get into it, okay? Divine, what do you have for Aries for December? Let's see. Oh, boy. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, you, oh, wow. I feel like they're going to fight for this, though, Aries. All right, Aries, what I'm getting, first off, there's a, I feel like there's somebody here who is not in, I feel like it's not you, it's your person, but you can flip the revolt. <laughs> Why can't I talk? Flip the roles if you have to, right? Reverse the roles if you have to. But there's somebody who's very heartbroken here. See, um, they want to skip, you know, skippity doo da right back to you, okay? Um, they know that you're the Ten of Cups now. They want to come back in. They're like, let me come back in, Aries. Um, I feel like this person, they may even try to, like, I, I feel like they're going to try to fight for this here. Um, or... They could have included a group of people that went against you. I'm going to have to clarify that. Either way, you feel very betrayed here in this, okay? You feel very betrayed. You've gotten the truth uh, with the Ace of Swords uh, using your intuition. You've been, you've been getting messages about people in your life that all they want to do is just freaking attack you. All they want to do is attack you. Um... This could even be a family situation. There could be a lot of gossip around this as well. People could have talked about you behind your back. You know, here's the thing. I feel like you're just done. Um, whatever happened to you, whatever this person, I, I feel like it was more than just one, Aries. I feel like it was multiple people that just kept coming at you. All right, uh, gossiping about you, dancing around, you know, um, laughing maybe, spiritually ener sending you energetic attacks. And you just, you know, you have it, you know what they did. You've got clarity on these people. They, you're holding this sword in your hand because they, they stuck this sword in your back and left you there to bleed out. Pull it out on your own and heal on your own, okay? And now they want to try to come back to you because they. this could be wish fulfillment for them. But you know what? Um, I, I feel like you're just really focused on yourself, building up your pentacles. You're putting work into something here, something creative. You could paint. But yeah, you're working on yourself now. And somebody out here, look, they're, yeah, and it's making you a star. Whatever it is, people are loving what you're doing. And now there's somebody who's heartbroken because they're like, oh, I could have had the Ten of Cups. They could have had a wish-fulfilled life, and that's why they want to come back in. You're out here in star energy, attracting a lot of attention to yourself. It's, I feel like it's got something to do with your work or your studies. And, you know, and all these people, I feel like that, you know, there's a masculine energy, I feel. Well, it could be feminine or masculine. But I feel like, um, I feel like, one, you had your heart broken, but now their heart is breaking because they're realizing, they're realizing you were wish fulfillment for them. They are. They're realizing this. They may be fighting to get back in, but I feel like this is what was done to you behind your back. And now you're looking forward to better days here. And this person wants to come back. It's almost like they're rushing back. Um, maybe they make impulsive moves. They don't really think about the consequences later. But they're suffering some consequences now because I really feel like, yeah, 
you're closing the door on this. Um, you're standing on top of this person, right? Kind of like you're down, stay down, right? And you're sticking your tongue out at them. You're just done. Because now they can clearly see that with you, they could have had an ultimately like wish fulfilled life. And you're no. They, you know what? People need to start realizing that their actions do have consequences, okay? And that's what they're suffering now. Feeling like a fool, wanting to take a, make a risky move and come back. They want to come back in so fast towards that Ten of Cups. Because I'm telling you, with whatever it is that you're doing, and it's something creative, I feel like... Um, you know, I feel like, too, when you were backstabbed, you know, you're holding out your hand here. This is somebody who says, come at me the right way, right? But this is something that also I feel like you're saying, look, you guys didn't know before that I was going to end up being a star. Okay? Behold, this is who I am now. I was always wish fulfillment. Yeah, I feel like that's what you're saying to this person or people. I feel like it's multiple people. You know, and now you're sticking your your tongue out at them. Like, now you can watch this. Maybe you always knew you told this person um, or people. You know, you filled their cups. You always knew you were wish fulfillment. They didn't see it. And I feel like this has been a long time since you've spoken to this person, but yet you sit here with all of this clarity. You know, um, you know these people really didn't have your back besides sticking a sword in it. They didn't believe in you. That's, I guess, is what I want to say. They didn't believe in you. They didn't know the potential that you held. And I feel like you gave people your love. And... All they ever did was send you bad energy and gossip about you. And this person could have had you in a third-party situation here. No. Feel like you're looking at other options here. You've waited long enough. You've stood here long enough. Um, you've got new options now. And I really feel like you're moving forward. I really do. Chariot energy, very quick moving. Yeah, and you're leaving people behind, maybe even feeling betrayed by this. But you know what? That's not your problem. If they hadn't have stuck a sword in your back, they wouldn't be in the position they're in now. Realizing that they just are they're losing out on an empress. They just lost out on an empress. And that this is this would be their justice. This is their karmic justice, you know? And I feel like you're in the public eye. These people, I, I feel like they're watching you. They're going to be watching you in December, just on, having a glow up. You're still not talking to anyone, okay? You're just, I feel like you're, you're peacefully moving on with your life. Um, you've got new opportunities that are coming towards you. Um, especially in December, maybe into January, you've got a lot of new opportunities because you know what? You're attracting new things to you. That's what the Empress does. And you're creating something wonderful. You're being creative, working on a project maybe. That's what the Empress does. You're going to be um, independent. You're going to be abundant. And you don't need anybody in this energy, I got to say. You don't need anybody in this energy. There's some of you out there that could even be pregnant. But this Empress here, it's, it's really pregnant with ideas, creating something, okay? Birthing new things. And I feel like, um, yeah, every, these people over here are getting their justice. Not only are they losing like the golden lottery ticket here, which is you, your wish fulfillment, right? They could have had happiness with you, you know, but also they're being taught a lesson, whoever these people are for gossiping about you behind your back, the door is closed on them too. Nobody can come back in. And maybe that's why they're talking. 
Maybe that's why they're gossiping is because they know they can't come back in. They're defeated here in December. It's the end of a cycle here. That door is closed. And this last cycle is over. And uh, yeah, these people, they just have to, they have to deal with their karma. You know, this person up here, this, whoever this is, has to deal with, you know, being a fool. And you, I feel like, are moving on to abundance. And it feels like stardom to me. I don't know what you're working on, but um, you're in the public eye and people are loving it. Okay, they're loving it. Yeah, you're, you're going to be happy. It's on the bottom. And you know what? These people are going to be having a very tough ending to this cycle. Ten swords, ten wands. Okay? Because the door is shut. The door is closed. That's it. It's a wrap. Um, and you go on to be happy, successful, abundant, independent beautiful, well-loved, yep, and possibly a new commitment here coming in too. I feel like that's more 2023 energy, I got to say, okay? So that's more like um, at the end of December, early January maybe, you guys could meet somebody new that could possibly take you to a commitment, okay? Um, it's going to be a really happy holiday season for you. You're ending your cycle here in star and empress energy with all of this clarity, right? Uh, and a lot of happiness and a lot of um, stability, right? The Ten of Pentacles, wish fulfillment, ultimate wish fulfillment is what you've got. And you know what? Um <laughs> I'm hearing cheer up Charlie, right? That's what I'm hearing. Um, someone else is going to end up, um, this is an end, two completions to a cycle with the tens, with swords and burdens, okay? They're going to have to, they can't come back in. I don't know what else to say. They can't come back in, Aries. Yep, you're standing your ground. You're passing judgment on the situation. This, you're making a judgment call here. I feel like these people who used to pass judgment on you, thinking that they were better than you, right? Um, making impulsive, foolish moves with you. Um, just doing whatever they wanted here and stabbing you in the back. Now you're passing judgment on their character. So is the divine with the weighing of the heart with the feather here in the scales. So, yeah. I feel like it's done. It's done, Aries, for whoever this is. And I do feel like it's multiple people. Um, yeah, the, and I feel like after that, you're going to... I feel like this is you. After that, you're going to be um, really shutting it down. You're not going to talk to these people. You're not going to have anything to do with them. They may even look for you in the community here and there, but they won't find you, Aries. I feel like you're going to just be done after that. And doing your own thing, focusing on you, um, putting in a lot of thought, a lot of focus, okay? Yeah, you're not letting people back in. You're moving forward. Anyway, Aries, listen, that's what I've got for you for your December reading. Uh, I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. If you like this video, please hit that like button, right? Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you like this vibe. And until next time, Aries, take care of you and peace out.